Hey guys, it's Dangani, and ah, uh, VidCon 2019, the world's largest video convention for creators and fans alike to share the love and support for online video. This being VidCon's 10 year anniversary, and uh, somehow I went to it. So if you don't know already, I've wanted to go to VidCon for years. YouTube is a big part of everything I do, so of course going to VidCon has been like a dream of mine. And this being VidCon's 10 year anniversary, I really wanted to try to go. So I decided I'm making plans no matter what it takes to go to this video convention. But then I realized California is over 2,000 miles away, and uh, that costs money. So I thought to myself, yeah, you're not going to be able to afford this, I guess maybe next year or something. But my parents did the unthinkable and surprised my cousin and I with the VidCon tickets as a graduation gift. What? And next thing you know, we are on this trip to Cali with my two aunts who were definitely excited as well. We left Ohio around 3 a.m. to get to California the same day around 10 a.m. Now with that being said, California time is 3 hours behind compared to Ohio time. So I wouldn't have just been awake for 7 hours, but 10 hours. Also, I haven't ridden on a plane since I was like 5, so it was definitely an experience. And honestly, it was pretty fun. Exploring the airport was really cool because it felt like a mall that actually wasn't dead. So we had our flight from Ohio to Chicago, which was one hour, and then Chicago to California, which was four hours. Now, like I said, exploring the airport was really fun, but the ride was so boring. I don't know what I expected, but man, it was, it was just so boring. I ended up watching the Spider-Verse on Netflix for like the sixth time, but eventually we got to California. Our flight landed at the LAX airport and we rented a car and drove out to Anaheim. Now, it was only 11 a.m., so we had the whole day still, and this was the day before registration day for VidCon. So we checked into our apartment, and it was super nice. The roof had a yoga area, fire pit, gym, and all, and the first floor had a pool and a hot tub. And man, hot tubs are just nice, man. Peaceful. After exploring the luxurious apartment a bit more, we then went out to eat, went shopping, and then basically we chilled at the apartment for the rest of the day. Because that flight murdered my sense of time. VidCon Day Zero. Ah, registration day. Now, you see, you typically wouldn't have to register as a creator because you get it all delivered to you. But I broke it. Okay, hear me out. Apparently, you get these wristbands that you need to scan in everywhere, which I did not know. No one talks about the wristbands. Everyone talks about the badges. So when I got in the mail, I was like, oh, this must be a little bonus knickknack or whatever, and I put it on. Little did I know it was gonna get stuck on me. And I was gonna keep it on too, but of course I tried to take it off and I got it even tighter on me. I, I cut it. So the initial registration line wasn't bad and it actually went by kind of fast. But you see, the help desk was the worst thing ever. And no, it wasn't long. It was just terribly slow. I was dying inside, slowly, as every second passed by. There was some good in it all though. We ran into a bunch of cool people like Nice Michael, Heartstop Lucas, and Call Me Carson. And while in line, I ran into a bit Frank and Swankybox, who were both really cool. And I also ended up purchasing Swankybox's YouTuber journey book too. Please Swankybox, this book is my last hope for YouTube. College is like two weeks away, and I don't like college. It's a really good book, by the way. Now the wait in line wouldn't have been so bad if we didn't have the Animator Beach meetup to go to. I did not want to miss it because, first of all, um, Cali Beach. I live in Ohio, so if you try to go in the lake water, you die. But secondly, I wanted to see all of the animation community buds. But the stupid line wouldn't move! But finally, we got up to the front and I got my replacement wristband for free, which was nice. So we waited to be picked up by our ever so trusted guardians and decided to explore the VidCon area a little while waiting. We got to the outside area of the actual VidCon center and we went to scan in. But my cousin's wristband was denied. So we had to run all the way back to the registration area, go to a different help desk, and fix his too. That was whack. But it was all taken care of, and before we knew it, we were heading towards the Animator Beach meetup spot. And man, there were so many people. I got to see a bunch of animation buds like Papa Saber, Get Mads, Ivan Animated, Kurt Ritchie, PK Ultra, TJ Toons, Ginger Pale, Maz, Brody, Swoosh, and so many more. Also, the water was freezing. I do not know how my cousin was just chilling in it for so long. Now, my cousin and I, being the idiots we were, we didn't bring towels, so he decided to run all the way back to grab some towels, and after a few minutes of him being gone, Maz announced that they were gonna take the big animator meetup picture. I was like, 
Oh damn, my cousin's gonna miss the picture. But out of nowhere, this dude slides in right before the picture in literally the most perfect spot. And I'm like, how the hell did he do that? And here's the photo. Yeah, a ton of people. There's me, and there's my cousin in the dead center. And the funniest thing is, my cousin's not an animator. <laughs> but anyway, the whole beach day was such a blast. And after that, we basically went home and chilled at the apartment for the rest of the day. VidCon Day 1, the first real day of VidCon, my cousin and I woke up and headed straight to the convention center. Now, for the first day, I wanted to wear my clout fit. But you see, the thing is, the shirt I ordered came in way larger than I expected. But that was not going to stop me from wearing it, even though I looked kind of stupid. But aside from that, we explored the massive expo hall for a little bit, played with Beyblades, got some free stuff, and soon after went to a panel to learn some YouTube junk, which was really cool for me. But I know in my cousin's head, his brain was just going like... Once we got out, I chatted with some more animator buds for a bit that I ran into, and then I saw my boy Helonix! It's just so insane getting to see so many people I've known for so long in the animation community. We then all went to the Crater Lounge shortly after and hung out there for a bit, and I ran into even more animator people like Eli, Burrito Shake, Aroa, Panel Penguin, Lego, and plenty more. Now you see, while at VidCon, there was a Smash tournament amongst the animators, and of course, your boy Dengani signed up for it. Now, the initial matches had to be done at your own time to then qualify for the finals where everyone would properly meet up. And my first opponent was the man himself, Word. He met up with me at the Crater Lounge where we did our matches, which I kind of barely won. Word had some insane chalk combos that now keep me up at night. Soon after, I met up with Saber and some more animator people for this team networking thing. And Saber was ready to kill it in there. He had his business cards out and ready to go. The man's was getting the spread. Following that, I went to the last panel of the day, being the Matt Pet and Steph Analytics panel. And without a doubt, this was the best panel I went to throughout all of VidCon. And then we went to Dave & Buster's since there was a whole animator thing going on there too. I was able to meet Laddie, Junkie Jinker, and Luke or something there, so that was really cool. Not only that, but my cousin and I got to witness Kowalski be unstoppable at DDR. I'm terrible at those types of games, so seeing that was kind of insane. I also lost our game card somehow. I literally do not know where it went. VidCon Day 2. Second day of VidCon, I woke up late and we were a bit late to the first panel about growth hacking or whatever. Jarvis Johnson was hosting it. I, l I like his videos. He's really cool. So it was cool learning from the man himself. And then I went to hang out at the expo hall for a bit and ran into foot of a ferret. I forced him to do the had to do it to impose. He, he was really nice. And not only that, but while heading up to the third floor for another panel, we saw Boy in a Band and Nakey Jakey just standing there like madmen. I love both of their videos, so it was amazing getting to meet them and getting a picture of them. After that, I headed up to the Building Unique Business Opportunities panel, and it turned out to basically be about the Robux economy. I left early. I headed to the Crater Lounge and ended up hanging with a bunch of animator buds for a little while. And then, we all headed towards this animator networking meetup. The animator networking panel was packed, and apparently last year was way more packed because that was open to the community badge people too, so I could only imagine. I ended up meeting a lot of really cool people and got a lot of business cards. We soon exited the area, and while hanging out with some more animators in the outer lobby, I was introducing myself to this one dude with blue hair, and I asked for his name, and he said Didus. I didn't even realize it was him! I said, oh shoot, you're Datus? Yeah, apparently I've been pronouncing his name wrong forever, but he was really cool about it. We then all went down to the expo hall to meet up with Eli and Spaghetti. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. So a lot of us were trying to do our Smash matches that day to make it to finals. And while I was at the animator networking area, we saw Eli desperately trying to get in contact with Spaghetti. He had no idea who he was, and he had no other form of communication other than Discord. So every time he popped up online, we all looked at Eli's phone waiting to see what he would type. After that, I went with PK to do our next matches, and I was apparently facing Flash Jump. Yeah, the insanely skilled animator himself. He destroyed me. He was playing Krom, and he was very, very well-rounded with him. But I will get my revenge, Jom. I'm plotting as I speak. The finals were the same night, and this dude named Addison's ended up winning, and he got this cool trophy. VidCon Day 3, the final day of VidCon. 
Honestly, I couldn't believe everything was going by so quickly. The days kind of merged all into one, and from here on out while writing the script, I had to look back at my schedule various times to know what was when. We got to the convention center a little after 10am, being fashionably late, and after a panel, I saw PK and Frost drive, and I chatted with them for a bit. And then I went down to the expo hall with PK. I then ended up going to some place to eat with some animator buds, but you see, the food was stupid expensive. Everyone at my table kind of gawped at the prices looking for the cheapest things to buy. We ended up going together on this one sample meal thing, and uh, it wasn't bad, I guess. It was still a scam though. We headed back to the convention center and I went to the crater lounge for a bit and ended up playing Smash Bros with Brody, Luke, and some other animation buds. And I won a total of one time. <laughs> so I'm kind of a professional gamer. We then all went down to the expo hall and I talked with some other animator friends and ended up saying goodbye to some people who ended up leaving. And I ended up soon leaving myself. It was really weird leaving the convention center. Everything was closing down while I was walking out and people were leaving at the same time. VidCon is a great convention for getting to learn cool stuff and celebrate online video. But it's being able to see friends and inspirations you've known online for so long and being able to meet so many new and cool people that makes it all worth it. Seeing all my friends, inspirations, and colleagues in person was the best thing about it all and a huge thanks to everyone who I saw and met. Seriously, thank you for all making my first VidCon experience such a blast. So the last day of our trip in Cali, we went to LA slash Hollywood and got to explore around there. It was really fun honestly. Soon after that, we headed back to the LAX airport to catch our flight. And now I am home, ready to make some quality content so you better subscribe or watch a video. Please. Anyway, that was my VidCon experience. I had a great time, an amazing time matter of fact, and I'm really gonna try to go next year. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.